Good morning, first grade. Good morning, first grade families. Uh, I hope everyone's having a great day so far. It is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. It is um, day four for specials. So that means first grade has art today and art will start at 1215 rather than 1145. Today is also the sixth day of school. So I've updated our calendar by adding um, a coin. Yesterday we had the one coin that was worth five cents and that is called a nickel. And I added one penny so that we have the five cents with the nickel and then one cents with the penny for a grand total of six cents for our sixth day of school. I also updated our number frame where I can see I have five in the top. The whole top row is filled. And so I know right away without having to count that that means there's five there. So I can just count on from five to figure out how many we have, right? Counting the math way. We have five, six. And I also included a number bond. If you remember yesterday in math, uh, well, everyone was so patient as we're learning all of this. I know it went a little longer yesterday. Um, as we learned about in ye yesterday in math about number bonds, where we can find parts within a whole number. So for today, today is the sixth day of school. Six is our whole number, and I can find a part of five, and then let's think about what is the other part that makes six, or what is the other number, the other part that is hiding in the number six, like number, good number detective. So we'll think about that and see if you can answer that. And we'll pick back up with that this afternoon in our math lesson. All right, so a quick rundown for today. Today is the first grade beginning of the year testing day or assessment day with either Ms. Keene or Mrs. Tarassi. So you would have signed up for a time to have that one-on-one -on -one, um, assessment. We will have our live lessons, but I will record them and they will be available. So if you have your testing time is during a live class, please do not worry. I know that you may join late, have to leave early, or not be able to attend because of the testing. Um, you know, that takes priority for today, so go ahead and you know, don't worry about that. Do that first, the testing, and then I will post the live lessons um, if, if that time conflicts for you. Um, so if you have any questions about that or need to check on your time, just let me know. Uh, but that will be going on today, and then this morning you will see an activity sent out for something called star reading assessment. And there'll be a short video walking through the directions for how to do that on the Seesaw activity. So if you wanna check that out, um, that will be sent first thing this morning. And then we will pick up at 10 with our rainbow fish lessons and complete a Padlet for today's reading. And then this afternoon, we will pick back up with our math. And again, thank you for your patience yesterday. I know that you know, it went a little bit longer and it, it, you know, might take a little bit of time to kind of iron out all the, the details. And I know that we will become pros at all of the different books and the what to do on this time at this date, um, you know, with all the different routines. But for, for today's math, we will do that sprint page and then you'll also need the learn book. So if you could have these two, the two math workbooks the fluency with the yellow on the spine that says P, and then the, the other math uh, module, grade one, module one, with the blue on the spine that says L. So these are the uh, practice, oh, wrong side, practice and learn books. We will use both of these again for today's math lesson. And I was thinking yesterday what might be helpful just to kind of make the best use of our time is if you could find a bookmark or a post-it note or a paper clip or anything you have around, um, maybe you're welcome to first grade bookmark if you still have that, to put in the learn and or the practice workbook to keep our place for the next time so that when we come back the next day for math, it might be a little bit easier to just flip right to that page. Um, so just a suggestion it might make things a little bit easier. So if there is something you know, around your house that you might be able to use as a bookmark, that would be great. All right, so that is the agenda for today. I'll send it through Seesaw. And of course, let me know if you have any questions or need anything at all. And thanks again for all of your patience and support and help. 
and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see and talk with you soon. Bye!